all right guys welcome back cfp here and this is survival living so first up let's move this out of the way this is something we did pick up sure it's not a food item uh, but it is a uh, harness for my radio that goes onto my chest rig so i needed one and we picked it up but it went into our budget of our weekly preps next up we have our legacy food stores this is what we are affiliated with guys so I always tell you we are affiliated with this program these are the sample packs they give us a four sample packs the user runs us close to forty dollars four different types of meal link is in the description you do not have to purchase this this is something that we purchased for our long-term food storage but not required I mean we're here to show you all kind of different types of foods all right so we've got some beans we got a uh, light red kidney beans we got black beans we got lentils these are all one pound packages so far at Walmart the only time I can get beans is if I buy them in the one pound package at our Walmart store unless I'm buying pinto beans which is in a five pound or eight pound bag so we've been buying them like this we've got I don't know roughly 220 pounds of beans stored up um, but we always try to pick up some extras okay next up we have the 20 pound bag of Rico rice we get all kind of different brands of rice guys it's always a white rice though um this one here i forget how much we paid for it it was under 11 dollars for sure now with this rice we do um freeze our rice for 24 hours and then we air dry it out just to kill off any weevil eggs or anything like that before we vacuum seal up our rice so let's go ahead and move this next up we have our cooked ham this right here, guys, 16 ounces of cooked ham. I did have a recent question. I asked if these things had to be refrigerated. Um, only if you open them. These things are shelf-stable. They, I mean, you can buy them right on the counter. They are not in the refrigerator or anything when you purchase these things. We keep them climate-controlled because we have air-conditioned abilities and things like that here in our trailer. Uh, it's also another reason why we don't have a massive weekly prep this week because we bought a lot of solar equipment and we did videos. Should be popping up there for you on doing solar. So we did pick up three, four, five, six more cans of this. This stuff's actually really good. I use it for lunch meat and everything else, and that's why we stock it up. Now, we did go heavy on our chicken, our canned chicken this week, guys. We got 20 cans. This is our Walmart chunk chicken breast. Now, I do know that this is not red meat. This is not beef. I understand that, and that's where people are getting worried about meat. Well, quite frankly, so am I. The fact is, they're pushing an agenda about no meat and all this other stuff. They haven't said nothing about the chicken. They've been pushing against agriculture and everything else. So, up to you. I'd say start storing some meat up if you plan on eating meat. Next up, we have vegetable oil. That's just one more container of vegetable oil. That's a 48 fluid ounces of vegetable oil. Um, coffee. This is instant coffee. I love having coffee. I had a comment... You can, you can survive without coffee. Um, no shit, Sherlock. But it is nice to have coffee. It really is. Uh, the reason I prep is so that I don't have to do without. That's why I'm a prepper. I prep items that I know that I'm going to want when they're not available. It's things I can live off of when it's not available. Sure, can I live without cooked ham? Sure, I can. But I enjoy it. Same with coffee. Next up, we have Spam. We got seven cans of Spam. Now, we went ahead and we did get some turkey this time. Oh, yeah. That's the turkey Spam. We also got some of the bacon Spam. Unfortunately, Spam has gone crazy as far as prices go. That's the original flavor Spam. So, we got one of each and we got an extra original flavor. Also, we've got Wolf Brand Chili Angus Beef. This is the no beans. I love this brand. Uh, this is our, our go-to on our chili. There's also the Wolf Brand Chili No Beans. This is a different style. This one here is more expensive because it's the Angus. Both are really good. So we went ahead and picked up five more cans of those for a total of 10 cans. We got seven cans of the Spam. Now, guys, we show food all the time. We try to do it every week, a weekly prep. Please, guys, get a water filter i like sawyer minis but they're only good for bacteria they do not filter out viruses unless you get the s3 series sawyer get a way of purifying water guys if not a water filter get chemical treatments for your water this is the coleman's um as a matter of fact we just went ahead and purchased some more of these what are those online just so we have extras i mean i keep them in the gear 
keep some of my wife's gear, my gear, my get home bag, my bug out bag. My everyday carry also has this, also has this. Um, yeah, get some way of filtering out water, guys, all right? Collecting water, yes, I like the idea of collecting water, but let's face it, water takes up a lot of room. Having a way to treat water, first priority when it comes to survival, having some way of treating water, so. So this is what causes ruts in a road. I do apologize for the motorcycle sound. That's not a motorcycle. That is a grown man outside on a, one of those mini dirt bikes in the sand. He needs to go get a job. Okay guys, so as you see, we're doing a weekly prep type of stuff, guys. We're showing you what we buy when we buy bulk in our weekly preps now i had someone mention this before that they've never seen this done incorrect i learn to film my weekly preps i mean don't get me wrong i'm a prepper i've been prepping like this for a very long time but i started filming it and adding it to our weekly preps uh playlist from alaska prepper he does this he does what's called a payday prep that's where i got the idea for doing weekly prep videos that's I got that idea from him. So I like to tell people where I get ideas from because I don't just take an idea from somebody. But yes, that is where we got our idea to film our weekly preps. All right, guys, y'all take care. Speak to y'all later. Right fast, guys, I would like to talk about one of our affiliate programs here on the channel. The best way to protect your family is being prepared. Not only is Legacy Premium the best value in food storage, but it is also the best tasting and most nutritious up to a 25 year shelf life and free shipping on all orders legacy food is a go-to for long-term emergency foods not only are we affiliated with legacy food storage we actually use them for our emergency long-term food preps legacy food has the lowest cost per pound voted the best tasting a 25 year shelf life non-gmo gluten-free options, and yes, it's made here in the USA. So guys, if you want to help support the channel and support yourself with long-term food storage, check out our affiliate links in the description.